Hello, the light sail session part 3. Today I am going to show you some different things in light sail servers. So how can you manage that IP address, the public IP address and the static IP address and how can you assign the port and uh, how can you disable the port. So let's start and thank you for watching my video. So first of all I click on my light cell server. I earlier I created how to create the light cell server and then how to install the PHP my admin and PHP and my MySQL MySQL how to install. I already created two video. So if you have any issues you can see that video. So now we started with the how to change and why we want to change. The first of all in my light cell server it's a VPS server I can see that the, there was a connections so through that part I can connect through the SSH connecting to the my, my instance so this is I can connect through the SSH also if you have that putty or the Linux PC so you can connect through that username password and with a PM file so that I already have okay so now the storage section you can check that in my plan the 20 GB I have a 20 GB storage space and additional attached disks I can create a disk but it will be chargeable so after that video I can show you how to create a additional disk now the next part is the matrix matrix is a you can check with your server server CP utilization network network in out and status check failed so many things is here so you can check your server status the load you can check from here okay so it's a one hour six hour and one day and one week and two week the next part is the network network is the most of important part in the in that VPS server the light cell server it's just, uh, so cheap in nowadays so there here have uh, two IP address one is a public IP address and one is a private IP address basically VPS is connected through that private IP address binding through that public IP address so that's why we are accessible through that publicly if I click I already configured the PHP and MySQL so that's why it's open you can check with my old video that is the same okay create and static IP why is this option here because if I stop that server that IP will change so the main thing is if I pointed out that IP address through the domain or any server or any applications so if it will change then we have might a big problem because that address will be changed so now we have that IP address 13.127.249 and 238 if I stop that server it will change it will not work again if I go to that home now you can check that IP was removed
should stop not available you can see that if I started it again the IP address change now that have two one nine one seven six it's already changed it's not work again it's not work again so it's already changed you can check so that's why we need a IP address static IP address so how can I assign just create on a static IP address with that server create I have a different IP okay so now we go to that we have a different IP same server with that the same password and username with the new ok so you can check that already not opening so if now we stop that server the IP address will not change anymore because I already purchased a static IP address so the basic thing is that the static IP address public IP address and the static IP address both are public but the public IP address when I stop that server it will change but the static IP address not change you can see that the same server IP address so I started again same server with the same user username and password so it might be easier to use so you can keep watching my channel so the next video will be on the security how to manage the security and the light cell okay thank you so much have a great day please subscribe my channel like and share and comment if you want to know anything about the light sale you can comment out in my video thank you so much have a great day